Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a creative shop plate. And this is just how it's looking. It's got some really beautiful flowers. It's got like a fan design here. We got like a wood image with a butterfly on it. Super pretty. Some dragonflies. These kind of, I can't, um, they kind of look like those ones. What are those called? Uh, dan not dandelions. Um, is it dandelions? The ones you blow? Um, but yeah, this is just a really beautiful plate. And then I love Creative Shop. Their image just, ugh, their images always just come out so beautiful and just, yeah. And then I just got some, whoops. I got some uh, nails here prepared. And I just got this really dark red. Almost kind of looks like a brown, but it's not. It kind of almost looks like the one I'm wearing, just a little darker. Um, it's just a Manny Allergy stamping polish, and it's called Toy Soldier. So it's a really nice dark, rich burgundy. And then we got this brown that almost kind of looks gray in the bottle but I thought it would be good for like the bark image with the butterfly because I did know I wanted to do that and then I just just keep knocking off and what is going on here and then for the blue again just another stamping polish just a nice little baby blue and it's number nine doesn't have no name but I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the um the little protective film off and that's how it's looking without the film like always great etching Ooh, let me take this gross cotton ball off oh it was just really stuck on there and I'm gonna go ahead and just clean the plate so we have a nice fresh uh, clean surface just in case any of the I don't know it used to drive me crazy when people used to clean a clean like plate just kind of like if you go buy a shirt at Target and then people go home and wash it. I know it's some people's thing, but I feel like you'll never get it as crisp as when you first wear it, you know? Kind of like black jeans and stuff. But, I mean, obviously if you go to the thrift store and stuff, you have to wash that stuff. Because if you have ever looked at the water, yeah, no. But... I don't know. The plate just sometimes gets real foggy then, and it's just never as crisp. But I do know the film has a tacky layer on it, and it can't affect the pickup. So I have learned to clean it. But I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to start stamping. And like always, speed you all come back at the end, which my videos are always long. So thank God I even speed them up. And on the top of the, um, the polish, I do have, I think it's called Crazy Diamond or something by... I don't know if it's OPI or uh, what's that other one called that I really like. Hold on. Sorry, I had to go get it, but it's Crazy Diamond by Orly. It's just really pretty reflective, like, or not reflective, but holographic glitter. But I'm just going to be stamping, like always, with my well-loved... Uh, dirty stamper here with my favorite queen it's getting so cloudy and i just can't it, nothing picks up like that like they pick up but it's just ugh, it's just like my favorite stamper and then i do have a new one but i just don't want to break it out because i can't find any more and then again another favorite is my cubed clear jelly stamper it just ended up becoming another favorite maybe i should try well, the only thing with these are, I have the Moira one too, and I was going to do a review on it, and then time passed by, and other people did reviews, and I'm just like, you know. But I had got it when it was like sold out, and but it was the Moira one that, and then they came out with all the knockoff ones. But it's the, um, I shouldn't say knockoff, but like the dupes of them. The only thing is when you stamp with it, oh, I dropped the bottom piece here um if you stamp with it when you for anybody who doesn't didn't like get one of these i thought it was i don't know what i thought i just thought so much more of it i know some people love it but like see how it like blows up real big you stamp with it and if you got smaller nails and say like you got these really bigger images and these images are pretty big they're probably like a full 
a full inch at least. But when you take it, this bottom piece off, where is it? No, the top piece, it shrinks back down and it gets small. So if you want the image to be big, you literally have to guess like those, the non-jelly ones that are like you got, you could see through. It's like those uh, other ones that they had back in the day. You kind of have to just guess where you're placing the image. And... I'm just spoiled with Claire and seeing through the image, or at least even when they're foggy, I don't have a problem because you can still kind of see with the black, you know, where you're going with it. But yeah, I don't know. So I wasn't like, unless, you know, my nails are pretty small under when I don't have acrylics on. So it'd probably be better with, like I was using it on my short nails, but it just doesn't work for me with longer nails. But I'm just going to go ahead and get started because I'm rambling. And I will be back towards the end. I will be using probably a cross maybe. Oh no, you know what? I am going to use this. Uh oh, that was the glue. Um, This cat's polish. But <laughs> this got stuck. So I literally had to get like a screwdriver and like loosen it around. Because nothing was getting it on. Oh, okay. And it did it again. And this is like, okay, hold on. Haha, <laughs> I used my rubber mat and like folded it on there. This is like the prettiest gold and it stamps so good. And I keep cleaning around it. I don't know. Uh-oh, my light went out. You need to stick the charger in there. Sorry guys, it'll come back on in a minute, the bright but I'll be using this CADS Gold, and it's called GO2. That's just the number of it, but the top can't really go on anymore. And I might do that across between maybe this and the Maniology Magic Hour. And then maybe some white I Funky Fingers, and then the black and white uh, Mundo de Unas. So yeah, it'll just be across against a bunch of different things. So, I'm just going to get started, and I will show you all the nails and talk to you guys at the end. So, sit back, relax, enjoy, and yeah, I will be back towards the end.
Okay guys, so I'm back and here's all the nails. So I did the three that were like that burgundy color. I did those. Oh my goodness, look how bad the sides of this looks. It's so gross. Um, I need to start. I did buy new ones, but they were the ones with tack, not like these ones. And I have so many like these nails that just snap in. But mine is the holder. The nails came out beautiful. Um... I love the butterfly and then that with the blue and the tan like coinciding. I don't know if look like they look like they all kind of go together, but it was all the same plate. And yeah, I think they are just all beautiful image. I think like images like this, like you could do all the nails like that with maybe one nail like that or something. I just think they're really beautiful. Or you could even do like these because they're like lines and stuff with the ones like this with lines in them. I am going to go ahead. And I'm just going to stamp, um, I'm just going to show you what the rest of the images look like really quickly on my stamp roller. So, just because these images are so pretty and they just stamp so nicely. So, where's my black at? Here, we'll do it with the black. The, um, plate works so good, but... Honestly, I knew it was going to work good because Creative Shop just makes beautiful plates. Here's those top flowers, which those are really pretty. Kind of sorry I didn't do that image. They're like antique to me, kind of antique -y looking. If that even makes sense, but... See, like, that goes perfect with the image I just showed you. So you got, like, those lines in it. So beautiful. I've had this plate for so long, too. I'm like, why do I sit on all this stuff and not, like... Even, like, the open images. I mean, there's a few little where you could just color that in with some black polish, but... For the most part, even their big spaced like images just come out beautiful. Let me stamp that over there. Sometimes it's hard to color them in, though, because it's like, okay, that's the leaf. Are those connected? You know, like, you don't know if it's a space between the two leaves or if the line's, like, just one whole design. Here, I'm going to turn it around just because we got all that extra junk here on the side. But, yeah, super pretty. Let me... Here, I'm just going to squeeze it on there. <laughs> Clean that off. And I already did that one, so let's do this one. Actually, oh, no, because my stamper's not big enough. I don't think to catch them both. See, there's a lot of closed, like, black space in there that had to be fully covered with polish, like, and it did it. And I didn't even fill the whole thing in with stamping polish. And there's no, like, gaps, really, so... Loving that, because those are really easy. You paint the nail like red or whatever, and it just, there you go. It covers everywhere, but what's supposed to kind of be colored in, if that makes sense. Another beautiful, like, flower with those lines in it. Again, that would go with, like, these. it make a perfect pattern. Like, ones like that. Oh, like these. They all kind of coexist. Um, let's see. Will it let me do it? Or did it dry? Well, we're going to try. I think it will. This was the flower I was actually going to do. Ugh, so pretty. I love flower nails just because they're just so easy to do. And it never goes out of, like, style. Like, just having super feminine. I don't know. I just really like flower plates. I mean, obviously, I like character plates because I do a lot of those. But a lot of times when I go to do my own nails, I always want to go to butterflies and flowers. 
even though I don't, because I don't always want to look like I have the same thing on my nails. So it's this image right here. I just got a little bit of that flower back on there. Super pretty. I don't know why I have it sideways. I'll go back and just show you them when I'm done. But And then we got one more left. This one right here. I don't know. This image is a little blah, but it's still really pretty, I'm sure. When you color it in and but out of all the images, that one's my least. But some of these other ones are just gorgeous. And like I said, you paint your nail red and you put that on, all that's gonna show is like or like a hot pink even or orange. All you're going to see is the flowers. Even black and white is really pretty. You can mix a little bit of polish with some like clear polish or top coat and make it kind of like a color paint or a jelly and just stamp it on and just lightly color it in and you're good to go. Paint the rest of your nails like that jelly red and then just paint the inside of that. Paint one nail white. Super easy nail art to do at home. And... I mean, yeah, I did this one as reverse stamping, but they have some, you paint all your nails blue or paint them all that tan-ish brown or a brown. Paint one nail blue and just do that on the blue one. Just real easy nail art. Paint them all red and just do that in gold on one nail. Just some ideas, but this is how they look. I think they're really pretty. Tell me what you guys think. My favorite is the butterfly. I also do really like the, this one, though. And then I just put some butterflies. I needed a fill, but I didn't want to, um, what's it called? I didn't want to do a fill yet, so I just took the polish off, and I don't know. I had some really pretty polishes I just never use. I'm like, and some, I have a ton of stickers I just never use, so it was just a quick, easy, and then I had such a gap here. I just put a little uh, reinforcement gel, and that works really good for, like, yeah, the reinforcement gel by Born Pretty. So when you're in between um, acrylics, like acrylic, what's it called, fills, I just put this over it because I filed the nail, and sometimes it does get a little thin, even though they look like they're a little bulky. They're really not. Oh, well. And I am peeling like an iguana. I don't know if it's because I soaked my nails off and my skin was dry, but it's so gross, guys. I have been adding so much lotion to my hands. That Dr. Riley, the one that smells like vitamin C, or it's vitamin C and it smells like oranges. It's just the thickest one I got. It's crazy. They're just, I like an iguana over here. My skin's peeling. But, yes. Tell me what you guys think. Have a beautiful, blessed rest of your day as always. Stay safe. Hope you guys all had a beautiful Labor Day. And until next time, I will be back with another, probably another, probably some polishes or another stamping review. Maybe some swatches. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to go ahead and watch my giveaway. Um, just got to do three simple things. Just go check out the video. And again, have a beautiful, blessed day for us today. Bye, guys. Bye. Till next time.